All right, guys, welcome, welcome to our continuing coverage. Can I welcome them to continuing coverage? Of course you can welcome somebody to continuing coverage because people come in and out all day, as you, you might have been doing. Yes, you may have been gone. You may be back Although, now. Although, you know what? A lot of people like to keep their, their monitors set up and ready to go all throughout the day. That's that true. That only has this stream going. That's true. And Although, you guys we love. I had a good segment, a good segue working there, and then you interrupted me I don't me think right you pay any attention to segues, so go was, for it. I was going to say, some of you may go, and then you may come back. Much like our next guest, Brian from CAT, California, <laughs> California Audio, Audio Technologies. Technologies. How are you, sir? Great. How are you doing? I, it's good to see you, to see you it's again. Really great so, show. so last year you got to interview Brian. We got to have all the fun. I was off working. <laughs> right. I was on the floor shooting some stuff. Well, that's okay. We will. So this year I made sure I was here. That's right. We will. We will recover some of that. So. For those, thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> for those of you who were not here last year, what we learned is that you guys basically will do anything anybody wants anywhere at any time in terms of custom price. AV stuff. <laughs> As long as you can afford it. As long as you can afford it, right? <laughs> right? As like, long as we all have fun doing it. Right. I have a new submarine. Uh, would you please put a 100 oh, and he's, inch. He's not joking. A 100 inch television and a full surround sound system in it. Absolutely. See, the answer is always yes. We, we have a toy factory that says yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is the most <laughs> that is awesome. If, if awesome. you can dream it and you have the money to buy it. Yeah. Then we're going to build it for you. I, that's that all, I told cool. him last year that I was jealous of him because he's got an awesome job. I mean, basically, just whatever you can think of, they will build it for you. Well, it seems like your job would never be the same because people are constantly that's changing the. That's their, exactly their right. I'm glad you said that. Probably my favorite part of our job now is the people that we meet and the passions that they instill in us and vice versa. The husbands, the wives, the grandfathers, the grandmothers. Another, another young tech couple that's 25 or 30 years old that really had a dream towards something, we actually work on it with them. So every client is different, every application is different, and we really get to install music and, and change people's lives for the positive. Whether they're working on their cars in their exotic car garage, or they want to bring a symphony to the back of their home, or they want to have a romantic time in their backyard with just a couple, or they want to have their daughter's wedding in the backyard, or their son's bar mitzvah, or whatever it may be, to bring music back into the lives of these families is wonderful. And, and everything's a, a design challenge, and an architecture challenge, and a building challenge. So yes, every client is different, every application throughout the world's different, and it's been a wonderful world of travel, and experience, and passion, and music. It's lovely. I think he just used the word I was about to use. I think he's pretty passionate about yes, his job. What do you think? <laughs> now, so how long does it take you? Hold on, I just need to know yeah, how long it sorry. takes you per project. Well, we start essentially with a blank sheet of paper, or these days, a blank computer screen. Good, And, sure. <laughs> and we sit down <laughs> with those who want to be involved with the project. Could be the wife, could be the husband, could be their right-hand man or woman, maybe the children, often the designer, the architect, the builder, the high-tech AV installation specialist, could also be the electrician, the geotechnical engineer, the structural engineer. I'm already tired. In the yacht world, it's the yacht architects and builders. In the aircraft world, we've got to work with the FAA and so forth. Oh, but yeah. we develop this dream team. And we start to develop concepts. And most of the time, when we're going to put high-end audio into someone's life, which could be outdoors or indoors, airplane, yacht, what have you, submarine. Yep. Um, we're going to want to hide it 99% of the time. 1% of the time, it becomes art. But even if we're hiding it, it's often going to be behind unbelievable tapestries, right. um, fabrics that are normally going to be told no, we can say yes to because of our ability to have horsepower, audio horsepower behind it and through it. So we work with the designers and those who are um, aesthetically uh, inclined to try to figure out wonderful fabrics, wonderful materials that we can use. And not just normal textiles, we can do aluminums and millet into some amazing design and coppers and titaniums and carbon fibers. Any and these material. Yeah. And so, so it obviously depends on the complexity of the Human design. Human bone. I want... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, maybe not any material. Maybe not any material. No, this has come up twice but, in a month. Yeah, but again, it also depends on budget. So, for example, if I said, you know what, I'd like a television, but I don't just want any normal television. I will give you an unlimited budget. I want the greatest television on planet Earth. I think you guys have an answer for that. We do. We just recently teamed up with a company called Seed, C-S-E-E-D, and they teamed up in uh, Germany with Porsche Design Studio. That it, We all know Porsche yep, Design yep, Studio. Yep. And Porsche and Seed work together on this wonderful concept of a television that deploys almost, it, it sits level in the backyard, like you just see this unbelievably milled aluminum piece in your backyard that sits flush with your concrete or your grass or what have you. You hit a button and the oh magic God. starts. It opens up almost like a missile silo. Oh God. An 18 foot, kind of like a 2001 Space Odyssey monolith comes out of the ground. I'm thinking Iron it's, Man here. It's amazing, <laughs> or Transformers. Yeah. yeah. And it, uh, it's aircraft grade aluminum that's anodized and powder coated, and it comes out in an artistic form. It turns. It like twists and it, raises it goes, out of the ground. It twists and raises up, and then it butterflies out. This 201 inch spectacular no outdoor oh. LED display. LED? And, and, it, and it, it can turn like this, and it can lift up and down. Oh my and gosh. it's got all these sensors on board for safety to make sure it doesn't deploy or deploy yeah. on a small animal or even a child. Wind sensors, I think it can handle a 35 mile an hour wind. It's extraordinary. How much is wow. it? Uh, it starts around six, 700,000 US. That's it? And that's it. That's actually what our clients I are saying. There's, there's already. <laughs> I, I'm literally shocked. I was like, million, couple okay. million. There's right. seven of them deployed in the world already. What I need is, I need that. But I need it to come up from the middle of my pool. John, I need it to come out of my pool. You take something awesome, like what Brian just talked about, and, and you have to change it? As it's coming out of the pool, I want it to look like a dragon's head. <laughs> and I want it to open like a mouth. And when it unfolds, then I get that. Can you do that? If you were a client <laughs> and you had the money, I'm sure they'd say yes to that. All right. <laughs> Always yes. The answer so is yes. They made this extraordinary video display. There's nothing like it in the world. But of course, they need the audio. And that's where the team of CC Porsche Design Studio and Cat became one. Okay. And uh, we teamed up together. And now we custom build aluminum chassis on board, the loudspeaker enclosures, all custom built to fit inside the television and to never be seen. And we mill every one of our parts, our drivers, our tweeters, our mid ranges, our woofers, all out of aluminum. So, of course, that they're weatherproof, waterproof outside. Yeah. And of course, they get rid of the heat and then they can handle thousands of watts to deliver the clarity and the performance that people expect from CAT. That's and awesome. now the TV deploys, you have no idea that CAT's on board, but we are, sure. yeah. and we're rocking the backyard like no tomorrow. That's, awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, you're not just rocking the backyard, <laughs> you're also doing things in many other places. Yep. Give us the broad kind of, uh, paint, the, paint the picture here well, for us. Well, we do work with the world's largest yachts. And we work with large companies like FedShip and Benetti and Lurson and, and, and so forth and so on all over the world and Heeson and many others. And we work with those yacht designers, those yacht architects with incredible materials. Now realize they have roughly unlimited budgets. Yeah. Still value oriented, but very expensive materials yeah. Yeah. like stainless steels and aluminums. And we will literally work with the engineers to make sure that we're using, for example, 316L stainless steel or 2205 or titanium just or so the right it, types of aluminum. Just so it matches the interior? You, you have to so work, of course, aesthetic reasons, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we also have to make sure we don't have corrosion issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, All the sense. way down to the nuts and bolts. Oh, yeah. Every single thing we have to design one off for that application to make sure that it can perform correctly and not corrode. How long do people typically use your, you know, creations for? It's a great question. What's wonderful is when we use materials like carbon fibers and aluminums, and stainless steels, you're talking about materials with, with lifetimes similar to a wristwatch. Yeah. yeah. And so people often think, well, technology is going to go away in a month or a year. Not true. As I talked about last year, technology changes at the rate of a computer. So any part of the system that a computer is controlling, that needs to be updated right. at the same rate that you would update your laptop. Yep. But the structures that we're building, which the fortunate answer is on the large systems, 85, sometimes even more than 90% of the system will last the lifetime of that vessel I or mean, that home. If we're talking about like a high-end speaker and you're literally milling the drivers out of aluminum and stuff like that, 
Th that piece, unless it was physically damaged, would last essentially forever, right? That's correct. Other than maybe the magnet or the you're, winding. You're exactly might correct. And even the magnets, 40, 50 we're years? using neodymium magnets to the level of an MRI machine. Yeah. So, and let's talk about the enclosure. If I build the enclosure out of Corian, they yeah. say the, the lifetime of Corian, half-life, under the salt water is hundreds of millions of years. Oh yeah. And it's, you know, if we mill it out of huge blocks of aluminum or, or the right types of stainless steels. So the enclosure is going to be expensive because of the materials, but it will last the lifetime of that vessel, that, that yacht or the home or its exterior. The drivers, like we talked about, could last longer than the human may live. Yeah. The amplifiers that we're building, I mean, we're doing, we're doing a few microns of gold flashing on the boards because copper would normally corrode. If we're using coppers, we're using the highest tolerance. It's called a 6.9's OCC copper. So everything is done for marine grade. And so you're literally talking about, again, 80, 85, 90% of the system will possibly last you a lifetime. And only the computer controlled parts will change at the rate of right. your laptop. Right. Awesome. It's extraordinary. But you're That's not awesome. just doing yachts. <laughs> I mean, they do a lot of stuff. This okay. sounds like a boat. Wait, there's more. There Segway. is. Segway. <laughs> Although, before you move on, I want to know this. Has anybody yet had you create speakers for underwater? Like, I want my yacht to have speakers on the outside, so when I go scuba diving outside, I can just blast music into the water. Now, what if the fish objected? Oh, well, we're going to eat the fish anyway, <laughs> you know. Sorry, let's move on. <laughs> Um, actually, outdoors though, yeah. let's just, the, the yachts are one thing. In fact, I've been to a lot of parties with my clients on their yacht in Monaco or wherever else in the world, and they hire a live band. And I was just on a party last year before we started on the yacht where they had 300 people on board. Cat was not on board yet. My, my cat yep, teammates yep. Yes. were, but Cat wasn't on board yet. <laughs> so on come 300 people and a live band, and then they're running all kinds of cables off the back to the shore, and then there's cables all over the floor of the yacht, literally taking 20% of the square footage. Yeah. People are almost tripping on yep. them. It's ugly. There's speakers all in their ears, and they spend as much money putting that whole system together for one night, and it's ugly, and it doesn't perform well, is they would actually spend to permanently mounting permanently. on it forever. Yeah. And then when you do that, you maximize aesthetics and floor space, and now a band could literally come in. One person, five people, a small a small quartet or quintet. Jack or in. Jack in, little mixing board, and away you go. go. Down. And, awesome. and now they can utilize that weekly, not just once a summer when they happen to be plugged into the shore. Well, the same thing happens in the backyard. People build swimming pools, half a million dollars, million dollars, five million dollars. Yeah. They almost never even swim in them. What do they use the backyard I mean, for? Again, large-scale parties. They want to show the Olympics outside or the World Cup or their daughter's wedding. And, and again, they have to bring in stage crews, semi-trucks down the street, and the backyard looks, looks like a monstrosity. Yeah. So again, to have it permanently built besides those large parties, now literally the couple can go out on a Sunday afternoon and have high tea and have the background playing in it. And, and outside has better acoustics than inside. It's, it's what nature gave us. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's extraordinary. And the movement towards outdoor audio at a large scale form is one of our largest passions because we're finding that it's used in some parts of the world even more than inside. That's awesome. Well, I'm just upset right now because he totally ruined my summer plans to have a party with an inflatable TV <laughs> and inflatable speakers. No, that's cool. <laughs> and now I'm all upset. So thank you for no, that, But Brian. don't worry. They're going to build the thing for my pool that, you know, with the dragon and the flames. I guess I'll just poke holes in my inflatable stuff and <laughs> yeah. then be, be, come over to your party. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, in, in, inside the, uh, the theaters are still obviously very in vogue. And especially as, as the computer generation is, is alive and well, video games inside, teleconferencing inside. In fact, uh, and another subject, we were meeting some people that, that do a lot of very high-end chef film, film producing and parties. Uh -huh. And again, if the chef comes into your kitchen and they're putting on a big, you know, story for everybody, how do you hear them? And again, they're trying to mic it. Yeah. So literally, we're bringing audio into that kitchen for those celebrity kitchen chef parties. We're bringing that audio into other areas of the home where the children can play competitive bit video games or the husband or wife can do their teleconferencing. And of course, there's home theater. And there's yeah. nothing like, I want to tell you something about home theater. It is really at a new, um, kind of more of a pioneering level right now, more than it's probably been in a decade because what's happening is surround sound processes. Um, there's a company we work closely with in Belgium, just extraordinary, at Galaxy Studio called Oro 3D. And um, they're developing the 11.1, 13.1, 15.1 contents. So everybody that had seven speakers before, 
and there's many different formats of this. For example, we'll now have seven more roughly just underneath the ceiling level. Yeah. yeah. So that's now producing height throughout the room, oh, not just yeah. separation and, and, and dispersion this way, and ceiling channels. So they will go out to like LAX and put out 15 microphones. Seven at ear height, seven at the height. Have, have a plane fly over. And you're really getting that sensation of feel and movement. And they'll go out into a forest, like I said, outside in Belgium, and to hear the birds fly through the trees and be able to lift yeah. and lower Insane. brings you at what they're calling 3D audio. And that's extraordinary. So of course, there's many new projects becoming a part of that. And symphonies, I mean, I, I just went to the Vienna Philharmonic not too long ago. And when you sit, I, I got to sit front row, seat one, wow. center. And when you're sitting amongst those cellos, they are literally, that sound is not just dealing with your ears. That sound is it's bringing, your whole body. you're in that symphony. It is bringing, it is coming into oh, your body. Yeah. It's coming through you. Yeah. It's moving every organ in your body as part of that sensation. And that level of 3D audio and the bass balancing, uh, we've talked about it a little bit last year, but Cat doesn't just throw a bunch of subwoofers into the front of the room and go boom. We actually analyze the acoustics because remember, we're an engineering company first. Mm -hmm. Then we strategically place subwoofers and we hide them throughout the walls, the floors, the ceilings, so that every single seat gets quick, accurate bass that's not going to give you hearing fatigue and really envelops you and brings you and immerses you into that experience. And, I'm, and I was talking about it before, but to, to be able to feel, it's like a rock concert when going to a symphony. And you're in the front of a symphony and you hear boom, 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 boom. And that's happening from all those cellos yeah. simultaneously. You're not falling asleep. You are literally alive and well. And, and people were leaving that, that experience at the Phil, Philharmonic not too long ago going, that, that was a rock concert. That was not a symphony. I mean, it was, it's extraordinary. And, and I believe, and we talked about this a little bit last year too, people have always had music in their lives. And before technology, they would hire live musicians throughout the day, throughout the evening, and, and then even late at night. And unfortunately, when technology started getting complicated 15, 20 years ago, and people were putting plastic speakers around that sound like boombox, they're losing that feeling of bass and that accuracy and that envelopment. And music became background audio, also because of MP3 and so forth. Yep. Now, I was just at the um, uh, Munich Hi-Fi show, and now that, uh, a couple, few weeks ago, and now that storage, memory devices, are getting inexpensive and large, now we're having CD or better than CD resolution on our devices, and now is the call back. Now yeah. let's have subwoofers. Yeah, now everything, let's have, let's everything get kind of degraded, went downhill, and then it but went it's back finally coming back up. And it's just awesome wow. to bring music to people's lives. It's wonderful. Well, thank you so much thank for the so update much. this year. I'm Someday glad I just want to come to... on tour with you and go ah. visit your clients. I said that last more than year. Welcome. Well, you could come too. Yeah. You could come too. Right, fine. We'll bring you guys too. Mm -hmm. I'm but, just going to uh, push them out of here then. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you for joining us. Uh, and that was California Audio Technology at calaudiotech.com. That's right. We have more great stuff for you coming right up. Thanks to Brian. Right up.